friends, Queen of Flannel here. Welcome back to the channel. So, uh, today we are going to flip through this brand new Mythographic Color and Discover book that just showed up at, uh, at my door. Um, I knew this was going to be delivered today, but I wasn't expecting it until later this evening. So the original plan was to have this uh, flip through for you guys tomorrow. But I came back from an appointment earlier this morning and lo and behold, it was sitting on my doorstep. So it is fresh out of uh, the package. And I'm really excited. Uh, as most of you have probably seen through the last few videos and uh, live streams, I've kind of rekindled my love for these books, especially since they stopped doing the hidden objects. So uh, enough talk from me let's go ahead and uh, talk about the book get into it see what we've got and yeah uh so this is uh mythographic color and discover shangri-la an artist coloring book of fantasy world and it is by alessandra fusi if i butcher that i am very very sorry um So, as per usual, it is the same square size as the other mythographic books. We have the perforation, which is hard to see on uh, this on this page since the art goes right up to the edge of the page. But they are perforated. Um, this is a nice, I would say, mid mid weight um, cardstock in this book. This actually feels a little a little smoother than some of the other mythographic books. So we'll have to see once we get in here if it's just this front cover page or if it is the uh, the entire book but so we got the cover page and um let's go ahead and get right into this so this is our first image and uh these are single-sided so if you want to use alcohol markers you can i just recommend putting a sheet of paper in between uh, I have had issues in the past with the way these books are bound. Uh, sometimes uh, as you're working in them, they will separate from the perforations just from your hand moving over the page. So uh, I have a uh, few books that unfortunately some of the pages came loose. Wild Winter was the one that I had the uh, the biggest issue with that, that happening. But um, you just want to be careful if you're trying to to push this down to get it out of the way that your pages don't come off the uh, per perforation but the nice thing about these books as well is that they're framed in the uh, in this square so you have extra space around the outside and you're not trying to color um, into the binding of the book so let me get this set up so we've got a nice I'm going to try and get us into where we can see the image. So there we go. And um, I do talk through my, my flip throughs, just give you guys kind of my, my thoughts on some of the, uh, the pages. If that's not your thing. You can mute and speed up and just watch the uh, the flip through uh, however you want to uh, to view this. So, but this is really pretty. But I um, I am going to comment on this now. I'm curious to see uh, as we get through the book. There are uh, some very fine small details uh, on on this one. So whether or not that becomes a theme. Some of the mythographic artists I, I found do more um, open type illustrations and others a lot of smaller, detailed, condensed. This is gorgeous. I really like this one. 
I'm just trying to think of like outside of coloring the tiger like a tiger what other uh colors I would bring I would bring into this one but this one is on my on my list and I haven't seen any of these images so I'm viewing these first uh with you guys here today so Oh, this one's pretty too. I really like this one. Oh, this looks like a like a tattoo on her back. I think there's a lot that um, could be done with this one as well. I have noticed that this particular artist uh, uses a lot of variable line weight in her inking, which is interesting. <laughs> oh, the planets. The planets, I, I I guess in the context of the background, you could make it look like a galaxy and make the planets make sense, but we know, we, we know how I feel about the random planets. <laughs> I do like this little guy in the, in the middle here, so. Oh, this is, this, this is interesting. I think she's like an acrobat juggling upside down. Oh, this one's pretty. I like this one. And since I've gotten a little bit braver with doing colored pencil for backgrounds, maybe I will attempt to do that with um with this. Interesting. This almost looks like the uh the Oni mask from uh, Kirby's Mythic World just split apart. I just at first I had I had hope that they were just bubbles or rocks, but some of them look like random planets. Some of them look like rocks, some of them look like random planets. I do like the mushroom though. And the castles inside the mushroom. I'm not exactly sure what these are. If anybody knows, like, is this a le like a legitimate, uh, p like plant? I'm assuming so. Um, or what it what it might be? They kind of look like pomegranates, but um, 
I, I know they're not because they're on like Definitely a lot of fine details in this book. So like this is, this little area down here is definitely, like this is, they're like tiny little seeds. Oh, this, this could be fun. I really like the uh the mountains design on the the cup on this one. Which actually gives me an idea. Ooh, lanterns. We know how much Queen enjoys uh, coloring lanterns. And yes, I did just refer to myself in the third person. Although I kind of want to tackle these lanterns because these are different than the, uh, the other two sets that I did. So I kind of want to do something different with these. I got, I've got ideas. Oh, this one is also interesting looking. I like the uh, the ship and the compass. Just it's inside of. I think it's a pocket watch. It looks like it's inside of. I I I don't I think I would turn these into into marbles or candy which is what they look like but some of them also look like random planets this is a this is a neat image though i'm thinking about different mediums that i uh that i would use on this one there's just there's a lot going on here but i do like her hair and also oh, you guys can't you guys can't see probably can't see it but i'm gonna try and get this a little closer i don't know if we'll be able to like 
legitimately see it, but she's got sprinkles in her freckles. Which I kind of love. Oh, this is definitely, this, this is definitely, this is probably going to be the, um, the first one I color in this book. So I don't know if we'll get to working in this book this month, but this, this will probably make, uh, an appearance next month during a during a live stream but i really like this this image I like this one too. A lot of really tiny details, but I think this one will be uh, fun, fun to work on. This might even be good for, uh, for um, the single object, like how we, how I would color a transparent like a see-through um object with um with a a background to it so this might um make an appearance as well There are some really gorgeous images in this uh, in this book. This one also might be good for uh for a single object video coloring feathers. Although I may have another uh, another image in mind for that. But I just spitball in while we while we flip through. Cuz it's kind of one of those like cool, we're taking a look at the uh, at the book, but I'm also like planning future content as we as we flip through so hmm apparently this lizard is a gamer interesting my kid will probably like this one. Okay, some planets that make sense. I I can dig this one. That makes sense with the rest of the image. This one's interesting. Oh, I like this one too.
It's like a it's like a cat house. And uh, these books do well with light applications of water as well. Um, I am currently working on our community color in uh, Magical Earth. And just kind of, you know, reaffirming that uh, if you want to use watercolor in these books, as long as you're not super saturating the page, um, they uh they do hold up moderate not moderately well they do hold up well to light applications of water and i'm going to i'm going to say it I want, this reminds me of she looks like sigourney weaver this makes me think of the scene uh from ghostbusters with uh gozer and are you the are you the gatekeeper uh, it really just she looks like sigourney are you the key master i love it Oh, this one is, this one is cool. I like this one. Oh, that that took me a minute. I, I I couldn't differentiate like what was going on here, and at first I didn't realize that it was um, an animal. I thought it was the trunk of the tree, and then the eyes and the face it came it came together, and I was like, oh, okay. And I can already see, so, oh, oh, maybe not. Okay, they were stuck together. I thought actually thought the book was already coming apart, but, um, so this is, uh, it's glue bound, but only on the, the back spine. Uh, so not totally, like, like, together like this. So you can, um, kind of crack the, the, the spine. Yeah. It's like a combination. Um, it looks like it's 
like stitched at random intervals and then glue bound just at the just at the back. Oh, this is this is a fun one. I like this one. Oh, and this is the last one. And then we've got some uh Some of the other, these are the some of the more recent books here. They've got Cosmic Spirit, Deep Blue, Illusion, Labyrinth, Fairy Wonderland, and Crystal Kingdom on the back cover. Okay, so let's flip flip back here. Oh gosh, I've got stuff all over my desk. Um did did we see her in the in the I, I was looking for her to be in one of the image in the images and I'll have to look through it and see if um if I can find her, but I don't recall seeing seeing her in any of the images. But anyways, that is uh Mythographic Color and Discover Shangri-La by Alessandra Fusi. Uh there are some really lovely images in this book that I definitely am looking forward to uh to tackling. Um, I won't say that this is my, my favorite out of the mythographic books. Um, I definitely feel like I, I ha have a, more of a, a, a preference for, uh, Joseph Kadambang and, uh, Fabiana At Atanasio's, uh, illustration style, but I do like this, uh, this book, um, and I will be working in it. I also know that uh, Mythographic has a ton more books coming out over the next seven to eight eight months. Um, last I, I looked, it seemed like every three months between now and I want to say December, um, there's a, a book coming out. I know that uh, Joseph Kadambang has, I think his is... I think Wild Summer is the next on the on the list. If if there's one in between this and um and that one, let uh let me know in the comments. Feel free to correct me. But I do know that there are a bunch more uh mythographic books coming out over the next few uh few months. And I do enjoy coloring in them. So this is definitely a uh a series of books that I will uh be um bringing the rest of them to the uh the channel for you guys uh and i am working on uh coloring in some of my older books even though the hidden objects make me sad sometimes but um anyways thank you guys so much for taking the time to uh check this flip through out i hope you enjoyed it let me know in the comments what you think uh, if you're planning on picking this up, if seeing it, you know, maybe, you know, you were on the fence, if seeing a flip through of it, you know, put you, put you one way or the, uh, the other, um, and yeah, bonus video today. Thank you so much. Please consider dropping a like if you enjoy my content, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me to feed YouTube's algorithm and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much.